Hi everyone, welcome to Amala Movement, I'm Charlotte. Today's practice is for complete beginners, so absolutely no experience is necessary and you won't be needing any props. I'm so excited to be sharing the start of your yoga journey with you. Um, let's get started. As a thank you for joining, as a thank you for starting your journey with me today, I'd love to invite us to come to lie down. <laughs> so please do take your time to come down onto our backs. We're going to be having our feet standing and your knees pointing up towards the sky. Have the feet more or less in line with your hips. Just make sure your knees are pointing directly upwards, they're not going crazy and doing something else. And the arms, we have a choice, straight away we have a choice. We can either bring them out towards the side or bring the elbows out towards the side and the fingers up towards the head. So this is our cactus position with the arms. So find somewhere that works for you today. I invite you to join me in closing the eyes and taking a few long, deep breaths. Inhaling through the nose. Gently parting the lips. Exhale, a soft sigh. Inhaling through the nose. And exhale, a soft sigh. And keeping this long and slow controlled breath for a few more moments. And in our yoga practice, by learning to slow down the breath, we in turn can learn to slow down the mind and all of our racing thoughts that are very, very common. And by slowing all of this down, we can encourage the body and mind to completely relax, to feel more at ease and at peace. And we're going to begin developing a body breath connection, which essentially means moving the body as we move the breath. So keeping your eyes closed, take another inhale with me. And exhale, you're gonna drop both of your knees over towards the right. <sighs> inhale, they come straight back up to the center. Exhale, dropping both the knees to the left. Inhale, straight back up to center. And exhale to the right. So they're like windscreen wipers. Inhale to center. Exhale to left. Inhale to center. Let's go once more each side. Exhale right. Inhale center. And exhale left. Inhale to center, pausing. At the end of your next exhale, slowly start to blink the eyes open. Take your time with this. And our right arm is going to extend up over our head. Straightening your right leg long along the floor. Pressing your left foot in towards your mat. This is going to initiate a roll onto your side and your left hand can come and support you down by your side. Resting your right ear, your right cheek on your right arm. So it's like a cushion, like a pillow. Let your knees feel soft, your belly relaxed. And then pressing into your left hand. And this can help you come up onto all fours. So take your time to do this walking your knees underneath you. 
And in our all fours position, we just wanna check that our wrists are directly underneath our shoulders and our knees are directly underneath your hips. So we're not in any crazy position <laughs> with the body. So I would like to invite you to imagine that you've got a thread attached to your belly button. And this thread is going to gently draw your belly button in and up towards the spine. So we actively are drawing the tummy in. Make sure you can feel all of your fingertips pressing into the mat. Imagine you've got um, suction cups on the fingertips. Looking at your index finger, your first finger, check that it's pointing forwards towards the top of the mat. We're not skewith with the wrists. Take another inhale here. And as you exhale, this thread attached to your spine is going to pull up towards the ceiling. So you round the spine, look in between your legs. This is our cat pose. Take another inhale. This time, exhale, the string, the piece of thread, draws your belly down towards the floor. Send your hips up towards the sky. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Look up. Exhale. Press through the fingertips. Round the spine. Come back to your cat pose. Inhale, drop the belly. Lift the chest. We're in our cow pose. One more, inhale, rounding the spine, really squeezing the shoulder blades into the wrists, into the earth, and then dropping the belly, shoulder blades squeezing together. Imagine you're holding a pencil in, the, in between your shoulder blades, your scapula. Find that space in the body to breathe. And then coming back to your tabletop, tucking your toes behind you, Walking your hands up towards your knees. Rolling your shoulders in towards your back. Lengthen through the spine, look forwards. And then look down towards the floor and plant the palms. Press through your fingers. Check that your first finger is pointing forwards. There's a tendency for it to go, go crazy. So from here, press through the fingers. You're going to lift your knees away from the mat. And then start to straighten the legs, but we're not really straightening them, we're keeping them nice and bent <laughs> as we come into a forward fold. So allow your knees to be really nice and bent here, thinking about your tailbone, the base of your spine being lifted up towards the ceiling. Allow your shoulders to fall down and melt towards the earth. Make sure your elbows are nice and relaxed. We're not holding any tension in the arms. Let the wrists be heavy. Let the fingers curl and round and do what they need to do. Have a gentle nod of your head as if you're saying yes. A gentle shake of your head from side to side as if we're saying no. And this very, very soft and gentle movement can encourage the back of the neck to release. We tend to hold tension here. Bring your hands to your knees, bend the knees a little bit more and take your time to roll up through the spine. Your head and shoulders stay nice and heavy and they are the last things to lift. Really, really take your time. If you feel dizzy at any moment, please do pause. Ah, beautiful. We've come up to standing. Make your way to the back of your mat if you've crept forwards like I have. Bring your hands towards your hips. We're gonna take a little um, exercise to really help us focus and bring awareness to our balance. So big toes together. Step your right foot in front of your left, bringing your right heel as close as you can towards your left big toe. You can look down towards the floor, this might help you. And then just like we're walking along a tightrope, your left heel comes as close as you can towards your right big toe. So please do stay with this as we travel towards the front of the mat. If this is feeling, you know, manageable today, try lifting your chest, lift your gaze ever so slightly. It's harder when you're not looking at the floor and for 
Another challenge is closing the eyes. Now this will make you wobbly. Accept those wobbles, maybe laugh a bit. <laughs> Bring the corners of the mouth up towards your ears. Have a cheeky little smile. Great, and then once you feel yourself making your way to the top of your mat, we can blink the eyes open. Look down, see your big toes touching together. I'm gonna to turn to the camera so I can demonstrate this. Coming into our Tadasana, our mountain pose. This is very dependent on how the knees are structurally. Some people are completely okay with bringing big toes together and having about two fingers distance in between your heels. If your knees knock together, and this is actually not very comfortable, you're not happy here, bring your feet a little bit wider so they're directly underneath your hips. So hip distance apart. And wherever you are today, roll your shoulders in towards your back. Have a slight lift to your chest, palms nice and wide, fingertips are spread. Gently close the eyes. Tadasana, mountain pose. Come back to this image of a thread attached to your belly button, drawing in and up towards the spine. So we've got this gentle support, this gentle engagement, always. It's always there with us in our practice. A slight bend in the knees helps us to feel connected and um, at one with the earth beneath us. Slowly on your next exhale, blink the eyes open and bringing your hands together in our prayer position, Anjali Mudra. Sending your weight over your right leg, stepping your left leg uh, to the middle of your mat, bending your right knee, hands to your hips and having a moment here. Embrace these wobbles, they're gonna be there. Pressing your left heel down into the mat behind you, keep bending our left knee and squeezing this uh, left hip, the back hip forwards. So squaring off the hip. Gently draw the belly button in and up towards the spine. And on your next inhale, sweep both arms up over your head. If you can, look in between the fingertips. And exhale, bring your hands back to our prayer position in front of the heart space. Slightly send your weight forwards over your front leg, lifting your left heel and then step a little bit further back turning the left toes to face the sides of our mat. So now we've got our right knee still nice and bent, right toes pointing forwards, left leg straight with your left toes pointing towards the side. Our hips, which were facing the front of the mat, are now gonna shift to face the side of our mat. Bring the arms out towards the side, warrior two. Keeping a bend in your right knee, look towards your right fingertips. Inhale here. Feel your warrior, exhale. Inhale. Exhale to bring your hands to your hips. Look forwards down towards your right big toe. Pivot onto your left ball of your foot and then a big step, take that leap of faith to join your feet together. Hands to heart center, inhale. Stepping your right foot back, exhale. So about to the middle of your mat. Bending in your left knee, checking that your left knee is pointing forwards and sending your right heel down into the mat behind you. So this is an active stretch. Hands to your hips and squeezing your right hip forwards towards the front of your mat and your left hip back towards the back of your mat. Thread in your belly button, in and up. Sweeping the arms, big breath in. Exhale, hands together to a prayer position in front of the heart. Sending your weight forwards ever so slightly on your left leg so you can step the right foot back, widen your stance. The right toes are now facing the right side of your mat. 
keeping your left toes pointing forwards. Bending in your left knee, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, look towards your left fingertips. Warrior two. Inhale here. Big soft exhale. <sighs> Bring your hands back down to your hips. Look towards your left big toe. Pivoting on your right foot, so the heel comes away. Look forwards, enjoy the wobbles, take a leap of faith. Woo, come back to standing. Shoulders in towards the back. Palms nice and wide. Have a moment here. Remember, big toes can be together for our mountain pose or hip distance apart. Work with your body today. Building this awareness of how we're feeling and moving, um, moving to support ourselves. If our eyes are closed, blinking them open. And bringing the arms in front of you, imagine you're holding a big round beach ball. On your inhale, lifting your beach ball up above your head. Have a slight bend in your knees, still holding your beach ball. You're gonna stick out your bum, <laughs> reach your fingertips forward as far as you can, and then let the beach ball go. Let your spine round, keep the knees nice and bent to support the lower back. Bring your hands to your thighs. Come back to drawing your belly button in and up towards the spine and lift the chest. Straighten the arms here so we can press against the knees to lift through the elbows. And imagine, um, if this doesn't make you feel too nauseous, that we're looking over a cliff. So we're going up and over through the torso, sticking your bum out behind you. One more breath here. And then exhale, we fold, we round, and we plant the palms, really bend the knees. Stepping the left foot back to the back of your mat. Look forwards. Exhale, relax the head. Stepping the right foot to the back of your mat, look forwards. Exhale, relax the head. We're in our plank position. Bending the knees and lifting the hips all the way up and back to a downward facing dog. Now, please bend the knees here. Thinking about the tailbone, the base of the spine, looking, uh, lifting up and back towards the ceiling. Come back to your um, sticky pads on your fingertips, pressing actively down into the mat. I can't believe we're in downward dog <laughs> on our first class together, but let's smile about that. Take an inhale and exhale, coming down nice and slowly with control, knees towards the mat. Crossing the calves behind you and walking the hands in towards your knees so you can rock onto your bottom. And then shuffle yourself into the middle of the mat. Crossing the, uh, crossing the legs and then just taking a shake out with the wrists in any direction. Really nice. Planting the feet onto the earth. Again, hip distance apart. Checking your knees are pointing forwards, checking your toes are pointing forwards so we're not, um, we're not skewers. Hands to your shins. Roll your shoulders in towards the back, lifting the chest. And then exhale, bringing your hands behind you. Elbows to the mat. Lifting your chest, inhale. Exhale, we rock all the way down onto our back. Taking a moment here to pause, to arrive, to find that softness in the breath and the body that we began with. And then walking your feet closer in towards your pelvis. So this is very dependent on the length of your arm and the, the space or the flexibility you currently have in your knees and your hips. But we are aiming to, or imagining, to 
be able to feel our heels with our fingertips. So they're really quite close in towards the pelvis. Feel all 10 toes pressing into your mat. Feel the connection you have with the floor behind you from the heels of your feet. Imagine you've got roots, like a, like a plant or a tree trunk, really grounding the feet down. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, your feet are going to ground even more. They're going to press so much down that your hips are going to lift up towards the sky. It's important as we come into our bridge pose to keep the head still. Inhale here and exhale, lift the hips even more. Imagine you're squeezing a block in, uh, in your inside thighs in between your knees. Take one more breath, inhale. Exhale, lift the hips even more. And then a big sigh, a big exhale and send your bum towards your heels like we're lengthening out the spine. Your shoulders are naturally gonna creep up towards your ears. Pause here for a moment and then bring the shoulders away. Wowie, squeezing the knees in towards your chest, interlacing the fingers, dropping the whole of the arm around the knees. Feel the back of the head resting into the mat behind you and take a gentle sway of the legs from left to right, side to side. Planting the left foot down into the floor, the right foot down into the floor, lengthening the left leg away from you and the right leg away from you. Bringing the arms down by your sides with the palms of your hands up towards the ceiling. I invite you to close your eyes. Take a big in breath and your out breath to sigh out and let it all go. So coming into our final relaxation, our Shavasana. And knowing that this beautiful time is for you to surrender, to let go. Knowing that you've done the work, you've shown up for yourself, you've shown up for your practice. And now you can just lie here, just let it all be, nourish yourself in the benefits of our yoga practice. Softening the breath. Deepening and elongating your exhale. And relaxing the whole body, letting it melt away into the mat behind you. And there's a beautiful image of your mat physically cushioning your body. Feeling your mat wrap around your back like a blanket. And metaphorically, we can think about our yoga practice doing the same. Our yoga practice is here to cushion us and support us and comfort us. Please do stay here for as long as feels good for you today. Bringing the palms of your hands together and bringing your thumb up to the space in between your eyebrows, the third eye. Thank you all so much for inviting me in to share the start of your yoga journey with you. 
I really look forward to practicing with you again soon. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.